All right, so when I try to drag my video clip onto my timeline, it gets imported, but without any audio. The reason this happens is because my a one source patch and toggle isn't selected, so go ahead and select that. I also recommend selecting the A1 toggle directly towards right, so Premiere knows that you want to target editing the audio, which I'll talk about a little more later. Alright, and now when I redirect my video to the timeline, the audio gets imported along with it. To give you a little more detail on this A1 and B1 stuff, the A1 and V1 furthest to the left are going to determine what you can insert under the timeline. So, if I only have the A1 selected, it's only going to let me import audio on the timeline. And only selecting V1 only lets you import video, which I showed you earlier. You can only select one, A1 and one V1 track from the first column at a time. The second column of V1, V2, V3, and A1, A2, A3, etc. are used for editing purposes. So, if you only have the V1 selected from the second column and use the Control K keyboard shortcut to make a cut, it's only going to cut my video and not my audio track. But if I select my A1 as well as my V1 and press Control K, it's going to cut both my audio and video. Okay, and that's it for this tutorial. I hope this helped you fix your problem, along with maybe learning a little bit about how the track selectors work. Thanks for watching and see you next time. If this video helpful to learn quickly, hit the like button and also don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. Then you won't miss any upcoming tutorials.